welcome back to Let's Play Snatcher on the Sega City. We are on the bottom floor of the hospital where they repair the androids. A linoleum. It's a linoleum floor. I've had a I've had a bit to drink. This video might be a little bit weird. So this is not like upstairs. This is downstairs. Where things are things are still being used and things are being taken care of. But nobody's here, which is odd. It's suspicious that you come into an active hospital where people are being repaired, but nobody's here. It's waxed for. You just can't imagine a bunch of snatchers crawling around waxing floors. Oh, I forgot Random was. It's been a couple of days since I played. I forgot Random was with us. Random. Random Hajio was with us. He's the bounty hunter. I forget what he sounds like, so I'm not sure how to voice act him. There are switches here to open the doors. There sure are. What's this? Unlike the first floor, there are only two door switches. Interesting. There's two switches. There's two switches, but three doors. That's going to be a puzzle, isn't it? You never know where they could be hiding. Let's keep conversation to an absolute minimum. Okay, okay. I get you. I get you, random. I get you, random Hajil. I won't talk too much. I mean, in game, I won't talk too much. I'm going to talk a ton in the Let's Play. So. <laughs> 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 More like Snatcher, a cyber drunk adventure. Ha ha, ha. <laughs> My sense of humor isn't gonna get any better. Let me tell you. Okay, let's get these. Let's get these. Oh, one and two. Switch one. Opens door one. Switch two. Well, it opens door two. I need to save, I just loaded a save. Okay, people don't want to talk. People don't want to talk. They're not as sociable as they used to be in the olden tiny days. They're like, no, we gotta get down to business. We don't want to sit a spell and have a conversation. We just, we just want to accomplish our goals. I guess we gotta go into each room first before we can get into the third room. So yeah, in one of the previous videos I was talking about jump scare, so I was mistaken, it's one of these rooms. One of these rooms is where you get a jump scare. We're about to get it. I'm not sure which. It's either one or two. Oh, at least the lights are on. Upstairs we were in this room, the lights were off. Uh, and, and Gillian just says exactly what I was thinking. Good job, Captain Obvious. Let's have a smell. What does this room smell like? Smells like a typical hospital. That's a little bit odd, considering we're not we're not working on people here. We're working on we're working on Terminator robots, snatchers as they call them, because they're body snatchers. They they take over take over for real humans by copying. Here we go. Here we go. Is this is this the jump scare? Dun dun dun. No, it's worse than that. It's just a specimen. That's not the jump scare, is it? Is that the jump scare? Because I remember it being much worse than that. Surely it's worse than that. Let's look before we investigate. Okay, there's an operating table. Ceiling? X-rays. Monitors? Hmm... 
Nothing of use. Operating table. I thought the jump scare was a lot worse than that. I thought it was like looking at you and right in your face. Was I just was I just a little was I just a little scared kid the first time I played this? Maybe. I wasn't a kid though. I would have been at least a teenager. I would have at least been a teenager. Certainly that didn't scare me. Maybe the other room has a better jump scare. Well, maybe I just am that much of a wuss. Or used to be. Not now, it didn't scare me this time. Yeah. Uh oh, he's saying lots of science words. About cancer treatment. Okay. Um. Maybe it's a, you know the room where we had to use a flashlight? Maybe we have to use a flashlight and then the flashlight lands on a Terminator face. Maybe that scares us. None of this seems important. No movement. There was some movement, but now I've lost it. Well, that that's not making me feel good. So we've got a recently used operating room, but it doesn't seem to be anything useful in it. But you know how this game is, you have to, sometimes you have to click on the same thing 50 fucking times before it actually registers and tells you what's going on. Let's go to the second room. Dude, look at those eyeballs bouncing around. Frankenstein could show up in any minute. Like I said, I don't remember what Random's voice sounds like, but he's kind of, I think, I think he's got maybe a little bit of a, maybe a little bit of a low class southern accent, maybe. Maybe a little bit Texas, I'm not sure. He is a bit of a cowboy. Formaldehyde jars, chemicals, that's... That's not helpful. Yeah, just all sorts of experiments in this room. That's what I clicked on already, yeah. Oh, shit. This is the controller where the down button doesn't work very well. I did super glue the other controller I have. If you're following along on one of my last couple of Let's Plays, my D pad broke off. And I, I super glued that a little while ago, but I'm going to let it sit for a day before I try to use it again. Culturing skin cells. As we've heard, the Snatchers have problems with their skin. They get skin cancer from sun exposure, so they got to work on their skin a lot. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe that's that. Maybe that's why it's got red light. Maybe it's got red light because red light doesn't upset the skin cultures as much. Because you know it's it's the light off the other end of the spectrum that does skin damage, the ultraviolet. Red light, red light doesn't damage your skin. Yeah. All right. Mm, I don't think we're gonna find anything useful in here. I think what we got to do is just figure out how to open door number three. This is definitely where they're growing new skin. Lots, lots more science words. There's so many science words in the hospital. Hmm. 
Ah, they're using technology from a long time ago. And the main character and his wife were from a long time ago, and they were in some sort of suspended animation. I hope I'm right about that. I keep saying that, but I'm not entirely sure I'm remembering correctly. Hmm. So there's one single person who's working on... Uh -huh. Is there like some kind of old Soviet scientist working on... Because we've got a lot of connections to Moscow, and we've got a lot of connections to 50 years ago. So we've got some kind of rogue, rogue Soviet scientist working on Snatcher skin cells. Can we talk? Yeah, we got to get in that room next door. we got to get in room number three. Smells like rotting fish. Decomposing protein. Ah, the smell of cancerous skin cells. Oh, just to say, nothing. Ah, oh, shit. Hit the button one too many times. Okay. Now we gotta figure out how to get into that third room. two buttons, but how do we get the third button open? There's got to be a trick. There's got to be a trick to get that third door open. Morgue. The third door is the morgue, apparently. Say that, but we've checked out. We've checked out the other. It's gonna make me like look and investigate every single thing in those rooms 50 times, isn't it? that one skeleton in room number one is not the jump scare I was thinking of, because that wasn't a jump scare at all, that was pathetic. Am I really that much of a scaredy cat that that used to bother me? I was picturing a much more aggressive, like, robot jumping up in your face and looking you in the eye sort of a thing. I know what I've got to do, but it's not letting me do it. Okay, let's go look and investigate. Just the same stuff over again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Yep, the table, yep, yep, yep. Cable's run. I'm just, I'm just whacking away at buttons, hoping it'll let me. one thing I hate about this game. I know what I need to do, but it won't let me do it. Because I haven't looked at everything enough times. I've looked at everything, but not enough times. But it's not saying anything new. seen that before. Maybe that's a new line. Uh, let's see what's over here. And... Uh, oh! Oh, it's gone! 
Okay, I don't remember. I'm misremembering. Is it going to show up? Now it's, it's going to show up in the other room? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there we go. There's the jump scare. Did I get it? The snatcher's functions have been terminated. There's no doubt now that this is their maintenance facility. This one was probably still waiting to get its artificial skin installed. So this is what they really look like, huh? I told yeah, you there was a jump the scare. Scariest thing about them. You can't tell them from real people once they've got that skin on. Perhaps that's humanity's great weakness. We're always judging books by their cover. Oh god. And it's just that human weakness that they're out to take advantage of. All right, random. Metal, let's go. The HQ's junk squad can take care of him later. We've got an investigation to do. Terminated, get it? Cause, cause it's it's ripping off Terminator. Metal endoskeletons with skin wrapped around it. Mm -hmm. Terminator, it's dead. It's Terminator. So yeah, I was right about the jump scare. I just I was just a little bit wrong about how it occurs. It's been a long time since I played this game, and I forgot that he sits back up. I was actually not really paying attention, trying to take a drink when he sat up, and I was like, oh no. I gotta jump back and play now. Whew, but we got him. It wasn't too difficult. We got hit, but, you know. Pretty sure your health recharges in between every battle. Metal Gear. And there he is, he's a Snatcher. He's the remains of a Snatcher. Maybe it's a she, we don't know. All we've got is a skeleton. Looks like a pretty male skeleton with that sharp, aggressive chin, I would say. Yep, this is definitely where the Snatchers are. Did I say Snatchers? I meant Snatchers. Go back out in the hallway. Wait. Never know when they might pop out. Gillian, it's just room number three. All right. Let's talk. Do you have anything to say about how we can get into room number three? same time. All right, let's try pushing both buttons simultaneously. The two buttons are on opposite panels, so there's no way one person can push them both alone. But if two of us work together, it might do it. That's it, Gillian. It makes perfect sense. It's the same system they used to use in nuclear missile silos in the late 20th century. Eliminates the risk of one man going nuts and acting alone. Oh. Well, it's hard to be sure, but let's give it a try anyway. I've got button one. Random, you push number two. You ready? On three. One, two, three. Come on! You did it! Door number three opened. With safety measures like that, they must have had a good reason for wanting to keep it closed. 
Oh, you can tell it's a Kojima game because they're talking about the, the specifics of nuclear weapon protocol. He's obsessed with nukes, isn't he? It's like every game he does, it's like, no, all, all this information about nuclear weapons, you gotta know it. Okay, room number three. Is this gonna be another office like it was upstairs? No. Ooh. That's gross. Good God! I read four human skeletons in this room. It's... it's their morgue! Perhaps victims of the Snatchers? Well, it doesn't look like whoever put them here was too worried about making sure they would rest in peace. No, it doesn't. These have got to be their victims. This is probably where they hide the bodies of the originals they snatch from places like Outer Heaven. They probably picked Outer Heaven because it gets a lot of VIP traffic. Plus, during masquerade time, they could work the place and still keep their identity secret. Yeah, and the guy who set up the link between them and Outer Heaven was Freddy, that taxi driver. They must have gone after him, not because of who he was, but what he did. After all, with a taxi, there's plenty of chances to milk your customers for information. That's probably how they learned about Outer Heaven and Plato's Cavern. I've been wondering what they had done with the bodies. Wanna hide a book? What better place than the library? Need to hide a body? How about the morgue? And for them, keeping the bodies hidden is crucial. I mean, if somebody who's supposed to be dead is out walking the streets, it wouldn't be too hard to figure out that something screwy is going on. That means that if we can figure out who these bodies were, then we just nailed four Snatchers. That's right. All right. Okay, we found the body hiding, and we got four people and a ventilation duct. And these four people have all been replaced by body snatchers, by by terminators. Oh no, don't don't know. So only one of them is fresh. That's probably Benson. Whichever Benson it happens to be. We don't know yet which Benson it is. Okay, there's a weakened duct. We can probably break it. Ew. Ew. Okay, mice droppings from mice that were eating the bodies. That's... That's unnecessarily graphic. Please stop looking at it. That's just awful. I don't want to smell. Let's smell. Sweet. Estimated time of death. Oh, that's that's a good thing to know. Not really. Huh? Eight groups. There's only four people. Oh, what the fuck? Are they talking about maggot life cycles? I don't want to know about that. Just tell me how old the bodies are. Just tell me, how old is the body? Okay, less than 30 days, that doesn't really help. So one's less than a month and the others are more than four months, okay. Cause of death? Okay, we can't do cause of death. And identity. Hey, yeah, test. That one guy still got flesh on him. Just test, test, test his genetics.
And he's, he's still got flesh. Test his genetics. They had genetic testing at the time this game was made, didn't they? If we had some teeth, we might be able to make an ID. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see what's in his mouth right now? Granted, there's a bunch of maggots in his mouth, but there's also a mouth full of teeth. Come on. Oh my god, seriously. You're gonna look at his mouth and say that somebody's deliberately messed with his teeth. Would you just do it? Stop giving us all this explanation. I don't... I don't need to hear the... I don't need to hear all the... Oh my god. Reconstruct corpse. Am I gonna reconstruct... I don't... I don't remember this. Am I reconstructing the corpse? What the fuck is going on? Oh my god. Now performing simulated reconstruction of the head and facial features of each of the four victims. Commencing with victim number one. Now performing craniometric analysis. X-ray and sagittal X-ray. Magnetic resonance imaging and positron CT data gathered. Complete cranial data now being compiled. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing reconstruction. First, victim's age. Estimate based on one. Presence or absence of cranial fontanelles and chroma of epicranial sutures. Two, area of facial region and cranium. Three, height of upper and lower jaw and development of alveolar part. And four, location of cranial center of gravity. Next, victim sex. Estimate based on one, overall size of cranium. Two, parietal bone angle. And three, development of splachnal cranium. Lastly, victim's race. Estimate based on one, overall cranial configuration. Two, volume of intracranial cavity. And three, mass of the skull. Now commencing soft feature reconstruction based on average results of above analysis. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race, 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of head of first victim completed. It's Freddie Nielsen. Moving on to second victim. Now commencing reconstruction of features of victim number two. Now starting craniometric analysis. Complete cranial data now being compiled using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing reconstruction using the same techniques it's as the previous wide. reconstruction. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated error. I know the last one's going to be one of the Bensons. But I wonder victim. who the third one is. Who's the That's third Lisa victim? Nielsen. Moving on to third victim. Now commencing reconstruction of features of victim number three. Did we kill any now other strappers? Complete cranial data now being compiled using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing reconstruction using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. Reconstructing. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race, 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Reconstruction of I don't know who that is. Completed. Who in the world is that? That's the director of Queen's Hospital. Uh, Shin Fui, uh, what's his face? Uh, Chin Shu O Gilliam. Moving on to last victim. Now commencing oh. reconstruction of features of victim number four. It's the guy that runs this, this hospital, the, the Chinese recent. guy. It's still decomposing. It's one now of the best. Starting Benson's. craniometric analysis. Complete cranial I, data now being compiled using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. I think it's Harry. Craniometric analysis complete. Now commencing but I might be reconstruction wrong. using the same techniques as the previous reconstruction. I might be wrong. Reconstructing. Wait. Initial phase completed. Margin of error on estimate of victim's race, 10% based on use of average values. Now adding postulated hair and eye features. Huh. Reconstruction of head of final victim completed. It's... it's the chief! What? I was wrong. The chief is a snatcher! 
to Benson on the scrap of that patient record was Benson Cunningham. Judging from the condition of the body, I would estimate that the snatching took place approximately one month ago. So it was the chief who sabotaged our turbo cycle. In those matches we found in Harry's room, the chief must have put them there to try to set him up. No doubt Harry figured it out and decided to leave that face-to-face -face message. Wait a minute. Didn't Mika say that Harry had left to go find the chief? That's right. He was probably trying to track down some evidence on the chief. Gillian, I'd say that this Harry has put himself in a pretty dangerous spot. If it was the chief that sabotaged the turbo cycle, doesn't that mean that he already knows we're on to him? Damn! Harry and Mika are in danger! That's far enough, Junker. Your little investigation is over. It's them! Who? Snatchers? Get them! Oh, that's not good. Uh-oh. We're losing a fight and we don't even get to fight it. My arm! I can't reach my blaster! Uh, I'm hitting the leg! Is that the best you can do, Junker? Who's, who's there? Chin! Jin Shu Oh, you scum! It seems you still have some fight left in you. You two are finished, but our plans move forward. We are now entering phase two. And when we do, not only this city, but the entire world will be ours to command. Phase two? What are you talking about? As you know, our operations have been hindered up to now by the flaws in our artificial skin. The skin's shortcomings have kept us away from ultraviolet rays, forcing us to do our work at night, underground, or in the winter. In the end, we had to construct a hospital like this, all because of the flaws in our artificial skin. This was the only difference between us and you humans. But now we have broken this barrier. Huh? Dude, we you are, are so boring. Developing a perfect artificial skin. Thanks to the cooperation of a new partner in our plan. Perfect artificial skin? Uh, a new partner? Once we have the new skin, nothing will be able to stop us. And with that, our plan moves to phase two. Our little experiment in this city will end, and we'll move in force to take over the world. Don't be so sure. I already sure. know all this. You won't get out of the city that easy. <laughs> Tell me something you new. humans are always so overconfident, so naive. What are you talking about? I'm sure you're aware that the Kyoto Summit, being held to decide how to handle this nature problem, opens tomorrow. Metal, is that right? Yes. Countries around the world now are concerned about politics. the snatcher problem. It will be Come one on. of the main topics discussed at this year's summit. Oh, That's Kojima, right. why'd you tomorrow, have to ruin it with politics? We attack the summit. Kojima, <laughs> you must be you and your crazy. politics. The security there will be incredible. You won't even get close. Must I explain everything to you, Junker? Please Aren't don't. Are you even aware that a fellow Junker will be giving a special presentation at the summit? Mm. The chief, Cunningham. Mm -hmm. So that's why you snatched him. We've known that your chief would be speaking at the summit for over three months now. Gillian, You've been talking for over tomorrow. three months now. We have to hurry. Listen, we have your chief. You Junkers are at our mercy, and so is this city. And tomorrow, we move on the world! <laughs> oh my god. Nothing can stop us now. We will finally achieve our long-awaited goal of global domination! <laughs> mm. Who is this we you keep talking about? We? We are an evolved life form. Given life in the depths of the Kremlin by our creator, Modnar, we are a new race. Modnar. Ma 
Modnar. Modnar? The Kremlin? Those names Wait. are familiar, but... Our goal is to snatch all of the world's leaders and then Wait. achieve total control of human thought but, and worldwide racial unification. But Modnar is random backwards. Humanity won't be so easily dominated. You underestimate the strength is random of the human spirit. spirit. I think not. In the same way as the Nazis, our strategy begins with the overpowering of the spirit of the people. We will strike at you humans' weakest point, the most primitive part of your psychological makeup, your suspiciousness and fear. By provoking suspicion and mistrust throughout the populace, we will destroy that fragile fabric which holds your society together, that of trust. Fear is you humans' weak point. Oh, it's like that. It is that. the primitive part of your brains that binds you forever to your animal It's like that one Twilight Zone episode. And makes you vulnerable. Where the aliens stimulating that part of your just freak everybody instincts. out and get us to attack each other plan with paranoia. Succeed magnificently. Gillian, at this rate they'll kill us all. You've got to get out alive. You're a junker. Just one of you have in mind. I've got a big fireworks show ready for him. Better that than get snatched. What? You're gonna blow yourself up? No, we're better off fighting together. Hey, it won't work. I'm hitting the thigh. Ow, oh, damn. A bounty hunter can't do anything with a leg wound like this. I might as well have been shot in the head. There must be some way out of here. Hey, I wasn't doing this job just for fun. I stayed ready for situations like this. I've always been prepared to go out with a bang. It's December. A little late for fireworks. So it'll be an off-season show. No, I can't let you. My belt's packed with TNTPX. You know, that really strong stuff they use in the mines on Mars? One push, and this whole hospital will go. No trouble at all. No time to sit around thinking, Junker Boy. Go! What are you doing? Get your butt moving, you fool! Get out through this air shaft. I've got a powerful strobe on me. Its flash will screw up their sensors long enough for you to get out. Now you with me? Fireworks are better from a distance anyway, Gillian. Are you two finished chatting? Then I think it's time for you to die. We're quite hmm? busy, you know. You ready? When I give the signal, break into the air shaft and run, and don't forget your blaster. Metal, stay with me. Yes, sir. Random. Gillian. Doesn't look like I'm gonna have a chance to call in that debt you owe me. Don't worry. I'll pay it back to the Snatchers with interest. All right, go! Run, Gillian! All right, Random blows himself up, so we can escape, but Random might have been a Snatcher because he had the same name as the Doctor, except backwards. Modnar is Random backwards. Very uh, suspicious. Oh, me uh, Metal, are you okay? I, I, I... I'm 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 something broken? Okay, but it appears that language circuits have been damaged somewhat. What happened? Random blew himself up after getting us into this air shaft. Random. Gillian, that explosion should have taken all of Queen's Hospital with it. The thick walls of this duct must have shielded us from enough of the blast. If it wasn't for Random, we wouldn't have made it. Oh, Random. Gillian, we have no time for grief now. We must get back to Junker Headquarters as quickly as possible. Harry and Mika are in danger. You're right, and I have to keep my promise to Random. But first, we have to figure out how to get out of here. I can't see a thing. What should we do?
Well, obviously we should turn on our flashlight. Hello. Alright. Okay. Are we going to do a little... Are we going to do a little uh, first person vent exploration? You know, like in Metal Gear? The game. Okay, the scratches on the wall or in the vents. Sand on the ground. Iron and phosphorus. So this might be the secret way in, because they, they talked about how they weren't coming in and out of the main part of the hospital in a way that could be seen. Hmm. Um, so we got some water. Yeah, I hear it dripping. Okay, let's move. Hmm. There does have to be a way out. Hmm. Yeah, so we got... So we seem to be trapped. We got scratches on the wall and sand on the floor. Something to do with water. Hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so. Uh, uh, yes? No nine. Pollen. Pollen. Got bees fly in my mouth. We've got snow nine. No, nothing on the sensors, but we've got snow nine, we got scratches. <laughs> yep. Sand, let's look at the sand again. So the sand got dragged in by the snatcher, maybe? Let's, let's listen for that dripping water and follow it. No? You're not going to give me any more information? Okay, we got to find a way out of here. They don't want to move. Huh. He just keeps saying it's a dead end. We gotta look for the water sound. Okay. 
That's right, it is not just an air duct, it's a secret passage. Okay, I've seen that description of all. I've seen that. We've seen that. We've seen that. Give us some new information. Uh, okay, so the pollen is coming from a particular direction. Oh, we've got advanced now. Thing I just saved. This this D-pad really sucks. Oh my god, how many of these fucking things are there? How am I supposed to shoot that many? It's too many. It's too many things. And your D-pad sucks, because you're using the after... Oh fuck you. I can't shoot the whole screen at once. I can't shoot the whole screen at once. There's there's just no way to shoot the whole screen at once. You have four things pop up all at the same time. And there's like a one second delay between each shot and one. The controller I was using was a lot better than this, but the D-pad broke off and now I'm using a very poor quality aftermarket controller and the D-pad just... When you hit diagonal, it doesn't stay diagonal, it jumps all over the place. I 
hits the down diagonal and it jumps between down and up. Jesus Christ, this, this is going to be impossible with this controller. The D-pad is so fucked. Unless the game, I don't think it's the game that's like that. I think it's the controller. I don't think it's that the game is that glitchy. tough. They really build a lot of those things, don't they? Yeah, they do, Gillian. They build a very large number of them. You don't have to tell me how many hits you took, just to rub it in. Insectors. They're called insectors, apparently. Oh, God. Please just let me out. But yeah, one thing about this game, the better you do on the shooting gallery, the harder in the that is. This is part of the tube liner, the city's long abandoned subway system. You mean Queen's Hospital and this were connected? Yes, it would appear that the Snatchers were using this to move from place to place. This would provide them with the perfect way to move about while still avoiding the ultraviolet rays they hate so much. We should have realized this sooner. The city is crisscrossed by the tube liner's old lines. And since they are abandoned, the Snatchers could move undetected as well. Mm -hmm. Aha! That's how those two we caught a glimpse of at the abandoned factory where Gibson was killed were able to disappear so quickly. They must have used this subway. That would appear to be correct. The tube liner passes underneath that factory site as well. That would also explain why sand from the factory was in the air duct at the hospital. So this is the trick they were using to stay out of the sun and avoid being seen while they moved around. Now we know why it took so long to uncover them. All right, let's follow the subway. We should be able to get out when we get to the nearest station. Oh boy. Is this the first time I've seen like an actual third person animation of Gillian? Not like in a comic panel style thing. I wonder where we are. How much farther until I can save my game? I'm just walking down the hallway. Well, the subway hasn't been used for years, so that's good. Up ahead, nothing. Behind? Nothing. Look, metal, light. Yes, but this doesn't look like a station. Just a random ladder. There's a ladder. Where do you suppose it leads, Gillian? I don't Who have cares? the slightest, but let's Get climb the fuck it. Out of here. All right. Now climbing the ladder. 
We seem to have emerged into an odd place. Wait, this room. We've been here before. What's the it's bathroom? Freddy Nielsen's bathroom. Yep. He uh -huh. was using this shaft from the bathtub to get down into the subway. Mm -hmm. So that's how he did that. Ah, uh, yes. As I recall, after you disposed of Lisa, he somehow entered the apartment without using the regular entrance. Which he accomplished by using this secret passage into his bathtub. The bathtub must be of a double construction. The bottom is actually a lid. When they wanted to hide the passage, all they needed to do was fill the tub. And to get in and out, they would just drain the water into another tank. Jeez. Double bottom bathtubs? Abandoned subways? Snatchers really go out of their way to stay out of the sun. Okay, Gillian, let's head outside. Let's save our game. And we'll head outside in the next video. This was a very, very long video. I don't think I'm going to bother splitting it though. We'll just leave it one giant, crazy, almost an hour long video. And in the next video, we'll leave Freddie Nielsen's bathroom and see what's up.